right, son, you can come up now. <laughs> it is chilly, baby. Look at these footprints I got everywhere. Stop messing up my house. All right, Taos. You gotta show me some adventure, Taos. Got a great place to sleep last night, even though I didn't sleep that great. <sighs> My temperature controls are like, uh, okay, dude, hot or cold? What, what do you want from me? It's only, it's 41 degrees right now, which is not cold. It's just, uh, it, it, it is cold. It's very cold. I noticed all the buildings are brown and kind of that, uh, what do they call that? That I, I know what it's called, but I don't know if there's like an ordinance or something around here that says, yes, even your KFC cannot be red and white. It will be brown. Even the Walmart over there is like a gray. <laughs> it's the gray Walmart. Look at Albertsons brown. I've seen a brown Albert Albertsons. A brown Wendy's. <laughs> oh, are we gonna see a brown McDonald's? Oh yeah. It doesn't even say McDonald's. It says Taos. But it's very, very brown. It's brown Donald's. It's kind of putting me out in the middle of nowhere, which is good. I like being in the middle of nowhere. I think Taos is in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, great. Not all of a sudden, like right here, there's a traffic jam. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. So I guess people live there and it's like a cool little uh, like native land, but they're closed today. The one day that I'm in Taos, they're closed. Of course. I thought it was something like the Royal Gorge Bridge in Canyon City, Colorado. I didn't realize it's just a road. Hey, we're here though. I drove the longest 12 minutes ever to get out here. I'm gonna go look at a bridge. All right. These look cool little picnic areas. I like these. Look at that. Keep you out of the sun. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a bridge. Is this where the uh, natural born killers, I think this might be where they were on the bridge. I could be very wrong. I don't think I am wrong. Last kiss. I don't know. Holy crap, it is. This is the bridge. <laughs> That, uh, that's insane. I had no idea this was the bridge. None. I just kind of guessed and, well, I wanted to see the bridge. <clears throat> but holy crap, this is it. That's, that's awesome. I like walking across bridges. I think that started with the uh, Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Now I feel compelled to cross every large bridge. There's a crisis hotline. Oh, I guess this would be a, I imagine a lot of people have uh, finished their story right here, so to speak. Wow. So you can just hit this little button Give it the onion, okay? So as you can tell, they're in one of these little uh, little areas. That's where they got married, Mickey and Mallory. It's kind of fun whenever cars go by, the whole bridge shakes, like rattles. <laughs> This is uh, awesome. This is why I do what I do, man. Just uh, for silly, silly little moments like this, <laughs> visiting a movie site. 
My shadow is tall. I'll definitely do the trick. Oh, Reuben and Erica. Not a very long bridge, though. That's all I've got left right there. Damn, dude. I was hoping to... Do I really have to do this, what, ten, nine more times? All right, I'm on my fifth... <laughs> halfway through my fifth tour of this bridge. And I, I think I made a decision. I'm going to do an episode of On the Roadside, like a quick little three-minute one uh, about this bridge. Because it is kind of a roadside attraction, and I don't want to leave Taos with nothing <laughs> uh, as far as filming goes. All right, so this is the side where Mickey and Mallory got married. <laughs> they parked that car right here, so they must have had the bridge closed off or something. Yeah, because in the scene, you can see that tree right there. And yeah, this matches up nice. Just living his best ram life, huh? I mean, that's respectable. So if you uh, couldn't see what he was looking at, he's uh, a bunch of ram out here, I guess. Rams? Ram or kind of, is it rams? I mean, it's the Los Angeles rams. So rams, ram, whatever. They're kind of dicks. That's as far as I can zoom, but yeah, they're... They're hanging. Somebody has my van. It's so pretty. <laughs> Adding a couple thousand more steps to the to the tally. To the tally. This, uh, apparently this trail goes for miles. I don't feel like walking for miles. I'm just gonna go up here until I feel like turning around. Not bad, man, not bad for a quick little stop in the morning. I say it's time to go to Roswell. I'll be there at about 2 p.m. Perfect. felt really good just going for miles and miles of walking and just enjoying the sun seeing something new it's the whole reason I wanted to stop in Taos it's just a never been there right I've never heard of a circle C I've heard of a circle K circle C look at this jumbo burger ah I'm not hungry I am, I mean, I'm starving right now, but okay. How cool is that? Uh, you have everything I love. So awesome. It's like they have car shows here and stuff. I mean, come on, look at this menu. It's perfect. Actually got a burger. And I actually had cash on me, it's cash only. What else is around here? I don't even know what city I'm in. Hey, what city is this? This is uh, Espanola. Espanola? Okay. Yes. What else is there to do around here besides this place? Um, I mean, here in town, there's not really a whole lot right now. And we're selling these coloring books if you're interested. See it in the back, okay? 
I'm excited. Later, brother. I'm very excited. Thank you very much. Take care. Have a good oh, day. Take care. There was a liquid that came in the kit. That's about four inches. One time, you know, some of the songs that you guys have written. I really don't remember much of Roswell except for the places we filmed. I don't remember this drive. I don't remember. It's funny what you uh, omit. Yeah, I think I'm going shorts and t-shirt, man, because it is hot. All right, there's the museum. And uh, I think this is their place right here. Yep. So not only do they have the alien invasion t-shirts and more store, they now have the UFO Fizz store. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even see the sign. That is awesome. telling him I don't have room in the van for anything anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab a couple stickers for the cargo box. Actually, that one's way more perfect because I'm actually crashing here. And they're gonna put out an extension code for me, so that's awesome. So we met Max and Luella in uh, last time we were here. We we're filming the UFO show with Amy Duma and uh, super nice people. Almost had to take that dude's head off. Anyway, they were super nice and uh, they remembered me, of course, because I'm so memorable. And uh, I'm gonna go crash out behind their shop. I would really like to find just a little stealth camp spot that has no lights, no city, no traffic. I'm definitely going to take them up on theirs. I'll probably be here for two nights. Uh, and even if I don't sleep out where I'm going, I want to, uh, like I said, just look up into the skies. It's, the sky is over Roswell. How often do you get to do this, you know? There's a funny story about this restaurant. And I'll tell it to you in two seconds. So we filmed a quick little thing here. And keep in mind, Amy Dumavlita is vegan. At that time, I was vegan for about almost eight or nine months. Not quite a year, but I was also vegan. Over there, where I was pointing out, where those people are sitting was a buffet of just all these different kinds of meats. Shredded pork, shredded beef. It was, it smelled so good. It got inside of my soul and would not leave. And I just literally fell off the vegan wagon big time. And I was never vegan again. Uh, I sat there and I just made plate after plate after plate after plate of meat. And I kept looking around this corner right here to see if Amy could see me because I didn't want to disappoint her. I just completely fell off the wagon and it all happened here at El Toro Bravo in Roswell. So I just called a place, and this is really cool. There's a place called Bottomless, Bottomless Lakes uh, State Park. It's uh, There's a camping place there where you can just park. And it's supposed to be nice and dark and quiet and wonderful. It's a Wednesday night, so they said it should be pretty much open. And it's uh, about 25 minutes from here. Uh, but it's, it's exactly what I'm looking for. And it's only $10 to park. Yeah, it's not as much as you think it is. It looks like a lot of food. And I mean, yes, it's a lot of food, but it's just on a lot of plates. <laughs> All right. I will stay here tomorrow night if I stay in town. Very awesome of them to offer a spot and power and everything. And here's the thing. If I don't like the campground, then I'll just do it for that reason. But I got to get gas and I'm going to go find this campground. And I am so damn tired. I'm hoping it's not crazy hot. Uh, I should wait till sundown, but if I don't like the campground, I'll just come back here. What a wonderful little cheap spot. Got restrooms right there. Some birds up there doing bird things. Lots of room. Man, this is awesome. 
All right, let's check out the facilities here. This should be interesting. Could be one of two things. Gnarly or awesome? Looks pretty awesome. I mean, looks like a teepee. It's got a place for male moths to put their balls. It was clean and disinfected uh, December of 22. <laughs> Wait, what? So the sun has gone down. I don't see the moon, but the stars are starting to peak through the blanket of the darkening sky. And it's going to be straight up black. Because I don't see I don't see the moon. I'm back outside. <laughs> I wish you could see these stars. To stay still and stay quiet the whole sky comes alive it's awesome you can see satellites and shooting stars it's crazy maybe even aliens who knows i just saw a couple things that were going in opposite directions and that's weird satellites don't do that Of course, you get the occasional airplane and whatever else is up there, but I wish you could see this. It's just madness up there. <laughs>